Greetings everyone, my name is LG and this is Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch Walkthrough on the Sony PlayStation 3. Last time, I wasn't really able to defeat King Tom, who is at the moment, well, cursed, or I don't know how to say it. As you can see, some kind of uh, snow like thing is falling and it's uh, doing something really bad with the. Hmm, inhabitants of, of the city so they turn into this kind of uh, creatures well anyway let's go inside and maybe I can defeat King Tom now look it's a crystal yeah we have to smash it looks like he's got other ideas poor King Tom we have to give him a right royal battery changed some things since the last time uh, I'm using Marcusan now Oliver! Roger! but of course I will go with Oliver at uh, the first place let's start with Mitty and right away I will use the Warcry Warcry is good because it increases the attack of uh, Mitty Crazy Claws, uh, yeah. This is one of the attack of King Tom. It's painful, painful, yeah, but not that bad. This is the first phase of the fight. There will be, well, at least two phases. Last time I got to the second phase. Royal Roar. Ah, it's not really good in, to be in front of uh, this deck. Well, anyways, let's switch to Lemel. Lemel is uh, a bit faster than the Mitty, but uh, not so fast. This blunt is good because it will decrease. Oh, no, it missed. Uh, let's try it again. Royal Roller. So, blunt again. Ah, missed. Well, never mind. Let's just attack uh, this cat. As you can see, Marcusin is healing too. That's kinda nice because, like this, the MP is shared between Aster and uh, Marcusin, so they both can heal if they want. Royal Roar. Nice. It is doing the most damage here. Let's use the war cry again. Uh, to be honest, I did not check if I already lost it or not. First phase is almost done. But before the second phase, I would like to switch back use some cappuccino on Aster. Uh, so she has more more MP. She can cost more. Yeah, it's really good to have Marcuson in this uh, fight. Uh, it's kind of better than having Swain at the moment. Royal Rower. Ah, never mind. Here goes Mitty. Now let's see, the second phase starts now. King Tom stands up. Cat slap. Uh, let's defend. Oh. Snap. Oh, Nickers, he's standing up. You know what that means, Oli Boy. Make sure you hit him hard before he brings the, them close to Bear and knock him out of his stride. Thank you, Mr. Drippy. Ooh. That's really bad. Ah, thank you, Marcuson. So, back to Mitty. And they lost. Warcry, 
Um, so, I will use that. And maybe I will try to itchy scratchy. Ah, it hurts. Okay. Uh, I will use now the all out attack and defense a bit more because uh, because it's really useful. So I wanted to blunt this guy. It's just scratchy. Uh, if you do this uh, all out defense, the, oh, I just died. Uh, that's not good. Let's use some provisions. Phoenix Feather, where are you? And run away from this guy. Okie dokie! So, back to Oliver. Oh, nice. Thank you, Marcuson. It's a ward. Ward helps us uh, blunt, it's just scratchy, not good. Uh, it's a bit too late to do this. But again, let's go back uh, and use the draw poison. And go back to Nitty. Come on, Marcuson, kill yourself. Nice! Mitty hit it, King Tom, at uh, the right time. So he is not conscious or something like that. Okay, uh, he will use Itchy Scratchy really soon. Let's defend. Nice, most of us defended. Uh, okay. I have to switch the lemo. It's just scratchy again. All out defense. Maybe it was a bit too late. Oh, actually, the two were. Defending, so let's uh, use some um, well cheeseburgers, Marcuson. and some draw poison on myself. It's just scratchy. Ooh, I'm in trouble. Well, that means I will die for sure. Yeah. Marcusan. If I Marcusan will help me. He's a nice guy. But he knows how to do it. He can uh, use a lot of uh, spells. Defend. Ah, Esther was not defending. Well, back to Oliver then. And I think I will try to switch the tactics. And uh, Marcusin will give it all. Oh, yeah, and he, he died so. Phoenix Feather! Roger. That's cool! Oh, Esther will die too? Hmm, Marcuson is, is using the healing hand on her. I will use the other thing. Oh, it's just scratchy. That again. It's not good. What's up with that guy? I 
slap. Already? So let's go, Mitty. Nice. Mitty's hit again. Cancelled. King Tom's attack. Ah, but now. Should use the war cry again. Maybe some blunt too. Sooner or later. Ah, poor Esther. I will try to revive Esther. It's just scratchy. Collect what we can collect. Oh man! Ah, uh, so spells. Oh, it was on me. No way. If I may. Alrighty. And let's use Phoenix Feather again. Ah, I'm doing something really wrong here. This shouldn't uh, be like this. Hmm. Let's give some MP to this guy. Let's switch back to Oliver. And of course, Mitty. All out defense, just uh, to be sure. Attack this guy. Ah. Nice. At least uh, they defended a bit. No, I don't have to use War Cry. Why did I use War Cry? Oh, never mind. Come on, Mitty! Come on, he's almost down. Back to Lemo. <laughs> healing touch. Marcuson is using the healing touch on me, so maybe I will use the forward. Freeze our defense. And everyone defend. Ah, uh, except Master. Ah, that girl. That girl can do some crazy moves sometimes. By the way, this place is uh, kind of nice. beginning because it was it's just scratchy again. Will someone defend? No, I was a bit too late. Then all out attack. Let's go. Meanwhile. Oh something happened. I don't know what, but well oh, let's go back to Oliver and use the grow poison. Ah. Okay. I don't really know what to do. Let's use this fireball. There you go. Take that. She scratchy. This is not fair, though. Come on, Mitty. 
Take this. Big cats. Whoa! That was my chance, and... King Tom is down. Finally. Has been done. Whew. It wasn't the easy fight. Well, let's see what can we do with that crystal. And what will happen if uh, we... Uh, destroy that crystal. Crystal's right there. Okay, here goes. Sanctify! Well, whatever has one been doing? Your Miaojesty, you're back! Thank goodness! I'm afraid you turned into a bit of a monster for a minute there. Okay, a complete monster. Me? One remembers nothing. It's okay now, Mr. Cat. Mr. Cat? Watch it, you! This here is the king of the kingdom. Such trivial trivialities are of no concern to one at present fairy. One is more worried about one's total loss of memory. Don't worry, you're okay now, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Cat, or your Miojesty. Peace saved you, and all of the town's people too. Is that so? Then one must dust oneself off and put one's kingdom back in order. Tidy! We'll leave things in your capable uh, pause then your meow justy. Holy boy, back to the Wyvern. Wyvern. Ah, I still don't know how to pronounce it. Ready, so on the moon. Manor was fed by the energy that flowed from the black crystals. They formed the cornerstones of the Forbidden Spell. I am sure they did, but now they have been destroyed. Surely a mere human could not have carried out such a deed. Could he really be the one? Your Radiance, what do you intend to do about this? Fear not. The banner is but a foretaste of what is yet to come. This trifling victory only delays the inevitable. Indeed. The more mankind struggles, the more surely its fate is sealed. Yes, they cling to a frail, bleating hope. But it is soon to be torn from them. To see mere mortals raise arms against your radiance. <laughs> An amusing spectacle. <laughs> we look forward to it. Now, Gallus. Are we to understand that you have had contact with the boy? I have. I wished to gauge his power. Gauge his power? And you expect us to believe this? Can it be? First Shadar, and now you. You doubt the word of a fellow counselor? <sighs> what nonsense! Enough! Uh, your, your Radiance. Enough, I say. Yes, Radiance. May I, Your Radiance? That was amazing, P. So, your magic really did have the power to purify the mana, huh? Yes, it did. We cleaned up the ash. That's some proper potent magic you have got there, young gun. You might even be better at this wizarding lork than Oliboy here. <laughs> Oliver is very good too. Here, a flower. It's to say thank you. Huh? I've never seen a flower like that before. Where did you get it, P? It was where the crystal was. The crystal? black crystal that you destroyed? What kind of flower 
th thrives in a place full of monster making ash. Ah, it's my flower. You can have it. Thank you very much, P. We'll take real good care of it. King, your father, he slipped away most peacefully. But he's there, why are you crying? No, I'm not crying. <laughs> your Highness, it is time for you to take your father's place. Um, you mean I'll be Queen P? Yes, that is what is expected. Your radiance. Really? I wonder if I'll be a good queen. And so, the preparations for the succession are all in place. All matters of state have been entrusted to the Council of Twelve. That's right. You don't have to worry your pretty little head about a thing. <laughs> Look at her. Princess P hasn't the faintest idea what's going on. She is no longer a mere princess. Ah, you are quite right. Please accept my humblest apologies, Queen P. You look simply radiant, Princess P. But we had better start calling you by your true name, Queen Cassiope. Called me you're a big girl now, and after today's ceremony, you'll be known by your big grown-up name. But I... Your subjects are all toasting your health, Queen Cassiopeia. They're sure that you'll take after the Wizard King and lead our kingdom to a glorious future. But... I'm P. I don't want to be a queen. Queen P? So, just, just, let's stay for one moment. So, actually, P is the daughter of the Wizard King. That's really interesting. And he is the queen of, of something. I have a really funny feeling about this. Uh, I don't know what's the connection between uh, her radiance and and P, but I have a feeling that uh, she uh, they have something in common. At the moment, I don't know what. Uh, well, I have a guess, but I don't want to say it now. But yeah, they are amazed too, as you can see. Okay, let's continue. Yes, I'm Queen P, Queen Cassiopeia. Oh, Cassiopeia. Ah, uh, never mind. You're flipping what? P, was that... Was that really you? Yes, silly. I'm Queen P. You mean to tell us you're in charge of a whole country somewhere? Then what are you doing here? You can't leave your kingdom in the lurch at a time like this. Look who's talking. You left the whole empire in the lurch. Ouch. <clears throat> anyway, if what we saw just now is true, where exactly is this kingdom of yours, P? Yes, we have flown all over the world on Tengri's back, but we have never come across anywhere like that. You met her in your world, did, not, did you not, Oliver? Perhaps her kingdom is there. I don't think so. Anyway, the flower is from this world. That is true, which would suggest that she is linked to our world somehow. I'm bored. Zip it, kiddo. That grown-ups are talking. I told you, I'm not a child. Could have fooled me. Anyway, you said the flower was 
from where the black crystal was, ain't it? Yes, it was where the crystal was. And there is other places where this man have been falling, ain't it? So, so there could be more crystals and more flowers in those other places. And with those flowers may come more clues to peace through identity and the location of her kingdom. Ain't it though? We'd better keep the flower we have got nice and safe too. Could be important. You're right, P. Do you find do you mind if we look after your flower for you? You can keep it. Um as heartwarming as this is, aren't there still thousands of Ash Monsters people to save? You're right. We have to go help them. Alright, I have the flower of youth. Uh, what is this good for? Oh, nice. Save people of the three kingdoms from the ash. So it seems, let's uh... Oh, let's check the map. I mean, the map. Uh, it doesn't show us where to go. So, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. Let's use the stone. I don't want to save now, but let's talk uh, with the people around here. I'm not easily shocked, by, but when I saw my crew had been turned into a monster by the skies, I had resolved to run them through when your little friend arrived. Lucky she did, eh? That magic of her spread a lot of bloodshed. Spared a lot of bloodshed. And it could spare a lot of more down there in the three kingdoms and beyond. Yeah, that's true. Hi, Clan. What do you think about things? What's going on? You are from another world and you are blessed with a certain purity. It gives you untold power, still more than a great sage in fact. And yet even you are not capable of casting the spell that a ca girl cast. This power is hers alone. Hmm, B is really strong. He is the daughter of a uh, wizard king after all. So that's no wonder. I did not think the world could be saved by one so young. Her heart must be exceptionally pure. Yes, Oliver. You are not alone in your pure heartedness. Is it really true, Oliver? Is be a queen? But I've been talking to her as though, though she were an ordinary child. Ah, uh, never mind then. Don't care with that, Esther. P is P. Do not concern yourself with the working of the Wyvern Boy. Leave things like that to us Sky Pirates. Hmm, okie dokie. This vessel is truly impressive. To look at it, you'd think it had been made in one of the Empire's factories. Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Well, I don't really know. Yeah, it may be true. Ah, the brothers. The brothers are talking with each other. Hey, Swain, what's up? I thought we were done for when those master cornered us on the deck. But then they were back to normal, quick as a flash. Bees. She's amazing. No, she's more than amazing. She's saved the world am amazing. That woman. The one who called herself queen. She was... P. I'm certain of it. But how could she have shown herself to us like that? I simply cannot fathom it. Mm. With the iron wyvern and the fair when there is no concern of the world that's out of our reach. I have a feeling that uh, P is actually a radiance, but uh, at the moment she is young. Or she is from another world, I don't know. 
I have to show you the flowers, Oliver. Mm, nice. It seems I have to go to Tangri. Leave from the Iron Wyvern? Yeah. Let's go. Ooh. Nice. 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 Ah. Uh, mm. Ah. Uh, mm. Eh. Sorry. So, again, let's leave this place. Woohoo! So, guys, what do you think? Which place shall I do first? I think I will go to Omo Moon first. And, uh, oh, I really wonder what happened with the Khalifa. <laughs> Is she a giant monster now? I hope so. It would be awesome. Okay, Alma Moon is covered in this uh, mist thing. Let's get inside and save the people here. Ah, uh, everyone will attack me, of course. Let's finish them off really fast. I will try to avoid uh, most of them. Will they be stronger than they were in... Ooh. Nice. Uh, so, will they be stronger than they were in Kingdom Dell? I don't think so, by the way. Hmm. These fights are easy easy. Neat. Ready? Let's uh, oh, let's check where uh, no. So again, where do I have to go? To the Khalifa place. Uh, let's try to avoid these monsters. Yay! I don't want to hurt the town people. Why are they wearing this kind of dresses? They were... Almamunians aren't wearing this kind of dresses. Let's go! Ooh. All out deck. Final curtain. Oh snap. Whew. No one died. Ah. Let's switch to our friend, Mitty! Use the war cry. So that I can attack or kill these enemies. Make them unconscious. We are not killing the town people. We are just making them sleep. Okie dokie. Done. Yay, let's run away. Ah, it would be awesome, by the way, if Rashad was, was here and he would be some, some creepy monster. Anyways. Let's lure these guys. Ready? Save your progress? No. Ah, uh, maybe I will regret this. Flipping act! That big beast was cowing familiar. Oh no! The cow leafa too? We Lola. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this, folks. She looks ugly. What happened with her? That's <laughs> okay. Well, let's go. War cry. Uh, 
Ah. Oh. Hold out the attack. Oh. Nice. I wonder if uh, she will have two phases too. Like uh, King Tom. Uh, this, this rolling attack is kind of weird. Okay, let's switch to Mitty. Nice. Well, this view is... Uh, That hurts! Huh, so the view from here is uh, kinda unusual. Uh, I, I think you know what I mean. Why am I this slow? I feel that I'm really slow. Why is that? I'm really sure that uh, this Royal Rush, uh, so that uh, this uh, win Lola will have a second phase too. This fight. Uh, till now, it's uh, a bit boring fight. Nothing too interesting. All out attack, everyone just attack. Is the space this big or why do I feel that I'm really slow? Back to Mitty. Mitty can do more damage. Ah, I will use War Cry. She is a red demon. Mm. Okay, Oli Boy, let's use some spells. Let's see what can. Morningstar do with her. Neat! Ah, uh, that's not good. Crikey, it looks like she's getting ready for a body slam. Watch yourself, holy boy, she's a heavy weapon and no mistake. Hang on, maybe if we made her even heavier. She wouldn't be able to get off the ground. Go on, Mom. Try using a spell to weight her down. Her ready. Let's defend. Ah, thank you, Marcuson. Heavy huff. Ah, uh, let's use this burden thing to make her slower. Well, nice. oh. well, she's a lot easier than, than King Tom. At least she doesn't have that itchy scratchy move. That was a real pain in uh, some parts of... Uh, of the body. Mm. Angry Hawk. Ah, let's use this burden again. Best. Hmm. Well, this is a really basic fight and...
Ah! She wanted to use some, some new attack, this flying something. No. Flying cow! That looks dangerous! Ooh! And everyone is stunned! No! This is really bad! Oh! Phoenix Feather again on Holy Boy. Yep, there you go. Flying Cow. Ah. Hmm. Healing Hand and myself. Back to Oli Boy. Let's use some crazy spells. Uh, let's unleash something. I want to unleash something. I did not use uh, these things, so let's check it out. Maybe from the beginning. Windfall. Oh, this guy is uh, from the dark, deep dark woods. Neat! Let's use it again. Everblade, what will you be? Ah, this is from the second place. Uh, what was the name? Uh, the Forest of Plenty, actually. I cannot really remember the exact name. Flying Cow. Ah. This will hurt. I wanna. I want this. I want this. I want this. Nice. Burning Heart. Let's see how this looks like. Did I use this before? It's really cool. Some firepower. Oh, and it's really... Link Huff. Or some kind of Huff. I don't know what that means. Come on, Mrs. All out defense. Uh, Raiki. Thank you. Marcuson War Cry. Go, Mitty. Give him a proper whacking! Flying cow! Neat! Oh! She is dizzy! Easy feasy! Nice! Everyone leveled up! Oh, Mitty cannot learn. Okay, what is this? Uh, opens the mind of the user, boosting magical attack. Do I use magical attack? Well, hmm. Yo ho! Ah, uh, I will. I will drop this yo ho. Yo ho! Yeah. You know what I'm doing. Mm. 
Neat. Quickly, P, smash the crystal. Right. Leave it to P. Sanctify. Goodness, fell as if we have awoken from a very long dream, or perhaps a very short one. How confusing, a dream about some manner of terrifying bowine monstrosity. We are not amused. Yes, you are a moo. <laughs> My, what dear sweet little thing you are. And where did you spring from exactly? Queen Lola, are you hurt? Oh my, oh my, my, my! That exquish, exquisite face, those sparkling eyes! The great sage of Emily in, in the flesh, no less! Young man, your picture does not do you justice! You are a vision, an absolute vision! Oh yes, she had that picture of him, ain't it? That's creepy. Majesty, you are not injured, I hope. We are quite the picture of health, thank you very much, Abu. You would do better to worry about the state of our beloved city. Away with you, bring us news of our people at once. Y yes, Majesty. Your wish will be fulfilled with all urgency. We should get back to the Iron Wyvern, Oliver. Why there? Why there? I wanna go to another place. Well, not that place again. Oh. Oh. Or, yeah, we will have some, some story here. There's just one kingdom left to save now, ain't it? I still can't get over peace magic though. A proper little wizarding powerhouse she is. <laughs> proper. Yes, her magic can only be described as miraculous. The spell Sanctify. It is missing from the pages of the wizard's companion. Oh, what about the flower? We thought if we found another one of those crystals, we might find another flower, didn't we? Sorry to disappoint you, but I had a quick nose round while you lot were fighting away and I couldn't find nothing, man. There was a flower. Look, it's here. Eh? Where's, where the flip did you find it? Do you think maybe only people can find them? That would make sense. They seem to be linked to her past somehow. I wonder if this one will teach us a bit more about her. I guess it might, huh? I'm kinda nervous about what we might find out. Say, P, could you show us? Of course I can. Here. Apus. At least I have you to talk to. What the Council are doing? Can it be right? Earlier on, I overheard the Captain of the Guards. He said the Kingdom was in a parlous state. He spoke of people too poor to buy bread and of the starving dying in the streets. Yet, the Council assure me all is well. Just who is telling the truth? Tell me, Apus. This is most troubling. The Queen persists in her wish to involve herself in the affairs of state. Should this continue, she may realize that it is we who now rule the kingdom and alert the populace. <laughs> Surely it would do little harm to allow her to sit on the council? Provided that we keep the more sensitive matters from Her Majesty's hearing. Yes, 
and ensured that she is made publicly responsible for all of the Council's decisions. Ha! A most splendid idea! We shall keep our kingdom while she takes all the blame! <laughs> Father, I know you will be proud of me. Today, the Council gave me their approval. I am to be involved in the affairs of state. Now I can work for the best interests of my subjects. I have taken a long, hard look at myself, and I have decided to put my subjects first and do all I can to rid the world of war and famine. Father, I have learned of the existence of an ancient spell with the power to end all suffering. I shall do you proud. I vow that I will master that spell and save my subjects and kingdom from despair. Soon, Father. Soon I shall bring the light of hope into the lives of my people. Ah, was that P? Yeah, guys, actually, it seems P is the Radiance, the White Witch. And the Council, the Council are really mean. They are really big baddies. Why are they doing this? What is uh, motivating them to do this? I don't really think this is, is alright. Well, this is completely wrong. Uh, may I say it like that? Let's continue. But she was all grown up, man. So, it wasn't her? Come on, look at her. She's going to look exactly like the girl we just saw when she's that age. So, you think we just saw a scene from Peace Future? If that were the case, her kingdom would still exist somewhere. I wonder where it could be. We thought we might finally learn the truth about P's identity, but it seems that the misery has only grown deeper. Well, I know one thing. I'm not a fan of that Council of Twelve bunch. I'd trust them about as far as I could kick them. They are de uh, definitely plotting something. Yes, poor P. Well, standing around guess begging ain't going to get us anywhere, isn't it? There's probably more flowers out there. Let's go out and find them. You're right, P. You'll tell us if you find another flower, won't you? Yes, I'll find you another one. Then we must head for the last of the three kingdoms. The battle is not won yet. Flower of Fate. Okie dokie. Let's continue then. Uh, I don't think uh, I would like to... Ah, uh, again. Mm, no, I don't need uh, that to, I mean, to use the thing again, the safe stone. Let's continue to Hamelin, our last destination. This will be really exciting. Hmm. I will. Ha I have a feeling that uh, there was an island at uh, the west, southwest, and uh, over that there was some mist. I wasn't really able uh, to fly there, so maybe that place is uh, is the place where we have to go. Ah. Let's just go inside this place fast. 
Uh, ready. Where do I have to go? No. Again, uh, I have problems with controls. Can I use the fast travel here? No. Alrighty. Let's try to avoid the monsters or the townspeople. Hello, 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 hello. Ah, I was not able to avoid them. We're under attack. We are under attack. Ooh. Nice go go. That's a really fine move. These fights are kinda easy. I don't know why though. Okie dokie. Who will be here? Marcuson is. Ah, uh, don't. Ah. Uh, Marcuson is our, in our team, so. He won't be in that room. Oh. Ouch! Thunderstorm. Oh, great! There goes Mitty. Here goes my attacks. So, who will be here? The big tank? Or, I don't know, maybe... Uh, that would be a really crazy thing if uh, the old King of Hamelin would be alive. Safe and sound, may I say that? Uh, let's hope he's not here. It would kind of ruin the atmosphere. I mean... He is dead. He was killed by Shadar, or, well, actually, we can say by Oliver himself. And so, to battle. Because, if you remember, then Oliver is actually Shadar's soulmate. I don't know why they are forcing us uh, to do these fights. Well, anyways, it's fun. So let's go. Ah, there's the palace. This place was dark before too, and with this mist, well, ooh. With this mist, uh, it looks darker. Maybe I will save now. No, I won't. Let's go, horses. Horse faces. <laughs> Let's go. This team is really cool. I want Marcus in my team. Forever? Swain wasn't bad at all. I mean, he used uh, his nice tricks. Ooh, let's refill our things again. And let's go inside. Ah, uh, horsey here, horsey there. Hmm. Come 
Come on. Go, Mr. Horsey. Don't turn back. I want to go in here. So we're back here again. Stop your whinging, man. I mean, it could be worse. Huh? Oh! Nickers! That tank. That's the very latest weapon in Hamlin's arsenal. You're telling me machines are turning into monsters now? I cannot say. Whoa! Ah, ah. Just a machine. Let's show it what for. Okay, okay. Yeah. The pig tank! The pig tank again. Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. Mm. Mithy is not doing too much damage. Uh, not even this guy. What about. No. Well. Hmm. The thing might be different from the tank we fought before, but it got the same weaknesses as any other machine. Give it a taste of storm magic. Already, a little bit of storm, to say. Uh, storm. Unleash uh, Bolt of the Blue. Now's your chance. Now is my chance. Oh, the jelly. Jelly thing. Oh, that was kind of neat. Let's use it again. Uh, where are you? Unleash both of the blue. Mm, there was a yellow bow, or what's its name? I want this. Oh, whirlwind. I don't know how to call you. Neat! Wow! Let's try to use that kind of thing too. Holding Blizzard! Let's use that! Shot. Oh. Not neat at all. <laughs> Mornstar. There you go. Take that. Ah, uh, all out attack. And let's unleash. Uh, what was it? A bolt from the blue. I mean, pork something. So what was this? Uh, Never mind. So, unleash a bolt from the blue. It's easier a bit to fight like this. Let's put on uh, all-out defense. 
get some balls from the blue. Well, I don't have too much choice here. Mitty, I can only hit like uh, 10 or 12. All out attack. Uh, no! Let me do. Yeah, you see, it's not too much. Too much at all. So, back to Oliver. Hmm. Let's use this. Wild defense. Nito. Ah, uh, yeah. No. What was that? Not more star. I want to unleash. Boat from the blue. The fight with this jellyfish. Was uh, kind of interesting in the stomach of uh, <laughs> of uh, the fairy mother. You know, the mother of uh, Rippy, Mr. Rippy. Jelly in the belly. Big shot. Let's defend. Ah, too late. Hm. Shall I try out even star? No. Uh, ball from the blue. It works like uh, like a charm. So this guy is kind of magnetic. Now is my chance! Go, Mitty! My chance is here! Nice! Okay, hit him. Hit him like you mean it! Go! Yes! This guy dropped all of uh, the scraps. We did it. Nito. So this uh, part of the story is done. Gyro grappler. Ooh. What could that be? Maybe some new weapon for Swain. Gogo -go learned wind tunnel. Wind tunnel, wind tunnel. Let's see what it does. A fierce wind cuts through enemy ranks, dealing storm damage. Hmm. Hmm. Ray of life. Uh, prayers restores speaker's health and cures alignment. Uh, bubble bath. Uh, twinkle. Mm, this is good uh, against undead people. Let's change the healing tier. Yeah, it's an old, old magic, and I think that uh, maybe, maybe it's good to change it. It's time for your magic. Right. Sanctify. Do you think that means everybody in Hamelin is cured now? Yep, which means it's time for the prince to tend to his people. Your Majesty, the city is in ruins. Have we been invaded by wild beasts? I'd watch what you call them. They were you! Uh, us? We were the beasts? This is terrible, Your Majesty. Did we attack you? Oh, 
calm yourself. As you, as you can see, I'm unharmed. I'm more concerned about the state of our great city. But our chief concern should still be the discover of the cause of all this. Until I have done so, I must leave Hamelin in your hands. Captain Hogarth, your orders are the, to begin reconstruction immediately. Yes, your majesty. You go to war, do you not? You must take our latest technologies with you. Ooh, new formula. That's cool, we have to check that. Your forethought is as welcome as ever, Captain. I leave the Empire in your capable hands. Flamey, you actually sound like an Emperor for a moment there. Yes, it was like I was seeing a completely different person. I made a promise to my brother. <sighs> in any case, Hogarth is a fine leader. He can be relied upon to rebuild Hamelin while I am gone. There's trusting you are right to. Let's get back to Iron Wyvern, shall we? Ooh, and let's see the last part, or will this be the last part of of P's story? I really wonder. We have saved the three kingdom from this scourge of the mana. As representative of the people of this world I give you our heartful thanks you're welcome but uh, it was all thanks to P really yay thanks to P and yet we are now concerned to knowing who it was that sent the mana to assail us your magic allowed us to avert a tragedy of unthinkable proportion P but we cannot allow this to happen again. To Reitman, we need to find whoever was behind all this and give them a proper hiding. But we had no idea who it could be. Perhaps not, although something about P's story has been troubling me. It has? When we were in your vault, she told you that the ash falling was her fault. Did she not? Well, sure, but... Hey, there's no way it was her. That's impossible. Does it not also seem possible that a tiny child should have the ability to reverse the effects of the mana? And yet, we have seen it with our own eyes. But that is not the only reason I think she may be able to tell us more. I believe Pei may hold the key to unlocking this entire misery. Yes, peace got the key. Oh, you found another flower, did you? Great, let's have another look at that pretty young queen. Is this really the time for your stupid comments? We need to take this seriously. Indeed, I fear this next vision may not be a pleasant one. No matter, we must see the truth with our own eyes, P. Would you be so kind? Here! This will be a sad one. I am feeling too. How? How could this happen? Every man, woman and child in my kingdom. How? Why did this happen? Mana was meant to help them. Not... not... this. Tell me why! My name is Cassiopeia. I am Queen of Nazcar. When I was a child, I was known as P. I lived together with my father, and did not want for anything. Then, when my beloved father passed away, I ascended the throne, little knowing what horrors awaited me. Ignorant of the affairs of state, I allowed the Council of Twelve to control everything. But the Council paid not the slightest heed to the well-being of my subjects. I had always thought of Nazcar as a peaceful realm, but now, 
I saw that it was blighted by greed and torn apart by conflict. The scales had fallen from my eyes. I felt the desperation of those ground down by poverty. I felt the pain of those fighting for survival. And I saw how I had lived a gilded life of luxury. A life they could never hope to enjoy. I decided that I must change. I would work for the good of others and do all I could to eliminate conflict. That is how I arrived at my decision. That is what drew me to the spell that would save the world. Mana. When I came to use that spell, not a doubt clouded my mind. I was certain that the mana would purify the hearts of my people. But then... My dream of peace turned into a nightmare. All those whom the mana touched became beasts and turned upon each other. For years, the nightmare went on. The years stretched to decades. And still it continued. Then one day, I realized there was no one left. The council was gone. The guards were gone. My ladies in waiting, too. They were all gone. The manor I had unleashed had claimed the lives of every one of them. I am completely and utterly alone. But death is a privilege I shall never know. And who can say what this endless solitude may make of me? That is why I have decided to fill these flowers with my memories. If you have found this flower, I pray that you will find your way to me. That is my only wish. Until then, I shall be waiting, always waiting, alone in Nazcar. Crikey, that's tragic. The spell she used went and ruined her whole country. The manner of which she spoke is the same thing we have been dealing with here. So, the person behind all this is Queen Cassiopeia? She may not have intended any harm, but it seems a distinct possibility. You're right. She said she would be waiting, didn't she? In a place called Nazca. Smelly old Nazca. Nazca, eh? Crikey, that's a blast from the past. What? What is it? Do you know something about this place? The fabled kingdom of Nazca was the seat of an advanced civilization that disappeared almost overnight. Ten thousand years ago. Ten thousand years? And Queen Cassiopeia has been waiting for all that time? If we can find the site of the ancient kingdom, perhaps we can solve the misery of uh, mystery of the mana at least. Yeah, and we could we and we can stop her from ever using it again. Yes, we have to stop her. All right, let's find the kingdom of Nazca and the flower of hope. What can I do with these flowers anyway? Well, folks, I hope you enjoyed this part. It was a really busy part with uh, a lot of happenings, a lot of story, a lot of sadness, and a lot of happiness. Please give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever uh, you like. Please do some comments below, share your thoughts. I hope you enjoyed it at least uh, as I did. Thanks for watching, a new part will come really soon. Goodbye.